Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I typically focus on open source models, but with the release of Kling 2.0, I had to check it out. And so we're here to talk about Kling 2.0. And just for that open source flair, I'm gonna also be comparing it to WAN 2.1 so we can see what we're getting for free and what we're getting for frankly, very expensive Kling 2.0 master model. So with the release of phase two for Kling AI, we get upgraded base models. So we get Kling 2.0 master model. The results look pretty good. The prompt adherence is much better. You don't get a, any of these like weird morphing faces anymore. This one, you even get kind of like this time-lapse effect. So that's pretty cool. The one that I thought was pretty impressive was the skateboarding one. You can see the board kind of warp a little bit and it's in slow motion. Whereas in the new version, you get kind of closer to full motion. I'm just gonna focus on the video generation for today. And I ran through some of my own prompts. I didn't cherry pick them. I just picked the first images that I got out of all of them. I compared Kling 1.6, Kling 2.0, and WAN 2.1 image to video and text to video. All right, so the first one that I did was this image of an astronaut and I have him walking on a moon with pink and blue as a background. The first thing we can kind of see is that I actually don't love the Kling 2.0 generation here. He's walking kind of fast and it's not overall not a great output for the WAN 2.1 image video i actually think i like this one the best the background stays really consistent and even though we're not getting a ton of panning it, it's more in line of what with what happens in space right like in space you wouldn't get this much panning because it's so far away the object kind of stays in the same place when you're in space so both Kling versions kind of have that problem. Kling 1.6 is a little bit more bouncy, a little bit more like related to zero gravity. And Kling 2.0, the footsteps are too heavy, the background moves too much. So I don't love that generation, especially when it costs three times what Kling 1.6 costs. And infinity times more than WAN 2.1 because WAN 2.1 is free. So now let's take a look at this car example. So right off the bat, you can see the WAN 2.1 generation is terrible. Um, it's not usable there. We probably would need a, a new seat or something. The Kling 2.0 version is really nice. You get this cool dynamic shot of the camera moving around. And I really like that generation. And Kling 1.6 is also pretty good. You can't really tell when it's in like this smaller box, but there is like some of that warping pixelation on the rocks on the right that we've kind of gotten used to seeing in Kling 1.6. So that's a problem that Kling 2.0 seems to have solved. Now we have this image of this blonde lady. So my prompt is the camera zooms out while a blonde woman with red lipstick touches her face. Her hand has red painted fingernails. The background is pink and blue. So honestly, all of them do a pretty good job here. The wand generation I like because it, there's kind of more realism, the blinking, the hand movement is a little bit more natural. The, the Kling 2.0 version honestly is a little bit too smoothed out for me. In the 1.6 version, you get like the, the pores and stuff, which kind of gives you a little bit more realism. Whereas in 2.0, it looks really smoothed out. You do get that she's moving her hair and you do get the blinking. So it is pretty natural. Honestly, all of them did a really good job. I probably prefer the WAN 2.1 version the most, but the 1.6 and the 2.0 are also good. I, I think these models are heavily trained on human movements. So things like this are gonna be pretty good use cases for any of these models. Now onto our text to video prompts and comparisons. So for this one, unfortunately, WAN 2.1 didn't really get the idea of the prompt. Gave me like this cartoon. I probably, it's probably on me and my prompting skills. If I'd said a realistic astronaut walking in zero gravity, maybe we would have gotten a better generation. But like I said, I didn't wanna cherry pick any of these maybe that's the style you want and so maybe one fits, fits what you're looking for as far as cling 2.0 and cling 
Honestly, again, I kind of like the Kling 1.6 version for prompt adherence. It is zero gravity, so Kling 2.0 got that, but in Kling 1.6 is actually walking in zero gravity, and it does get the background as blue and pink. The only problem is we're panning left in Kling 1.6 instead of right, which Kling 2.0 did get. So this one's kind of a toss up, right? Between Kling 1.6 and 2.0. I think they're both pretty solid generations. Next up, we have a text to video car prompt. So for this one, Kling 1.6 doesn't really get it right. I mean, we have cars going backwards. It does get the orbiting motion correct, but you know, they drift out. It, it, this is really just a throwaway generation. Juan 2.1, the realism isn't there. And obviously you see the car like go off the edge and continue driving. So Juan 2.1 doesn't handle this one at, well at all. Kling 2.0 does a great job with this one. It actually puts the blue car racing in front. The orbit motion is really smooth, really nice. And the realism overall is solid. So clear winner for Kling 2.0 on this one. Okay, and then our last Last one is the blonde woman prompt. So for this one, Kling 1.6 and Kling 2.0 are really solid. The WAN one didn't do great. To be honest, the WAN 2.1 image to video model is much better than the text to video model. As far as the Kling side, the 1.6 generation is really, really good quality. You get like some of the makeup and pores and it, it honestly just looks really, really realistic. The Kling 2.0 model, it's kind of smoothed out. I don't love that generation, but it does do a really good job with like the clothes and the realism of the clothes and the wrinkles and the hand. It all looks looks very realistic and some of that stuff is, is complicated for any AI model to handle. Really a toss up on the 2.0 model here. So I just wanna talk about the pricing. Kling 2.0 is 100 credits for one five second generation. That is very expensive compared to anything else that they've released. Their 1.5 model is 35 credits for the professional. And it's only 20 credits for the standard. And the standard models for Kling 1.5 and 1.6 are pretty solid. And you could generate five of them for one Kling 2.0. Unless you have a really high bankroll, the Kling 2.0 model is gonna have to blow away Kling 1.6 in order for me to consider switching over to it. Okay, so overall to me, I don't know if I'm gonna be moving away from Kling 1.6 unless there's an update that comes out to Kling 2.0. It's very expensive. I could run even three professional Kling 1.6 generations for one Kling point, Kling 2.0 generation. And to me, I, I would prefer to be able to iterate more with Kling 1.6 and, and catch a good generation that way than hope I get lucky with one Kling 2.0 generation. And another surprising thing is that one 2.1 image to video really held its own. There was that one bad generation from the cars driving but the astronaut and the close-up of the woman were really, really solid with Juan. So if you're interested in getting into more open source AI models, which is what Juan 2.1 is, subscribe to my channel. Even if you aren't a tech person, I have a project coming really soon that's going to significantly reduce the learning curve that's required to get into comfy UI and open source AI. So I'm looking forward to releasing that in the next week or so. My channel is typically dedicated to the brand new cutting edge image and video generation models. I'm typically one of the first creators uploading practical use cases of these models and I'd never cherry pick. So you're gonna get the actual feel of models and not just, you know, some cherry picked generations that you're never gonna be able to recreate. So if that's if that interests you, please subscribe to my channel. All right, so that is it for this video. I appreciate you watching. If you wanna see what I'm working on in the current moment, follow me over on X. I like to post some things that I'm playing around with over there. Follow my Patreon. Like I said, if you're interested in getting more into open source models, I'm gonna have a project releasing very soon that's gonna be really helpful for that. 